how would Gran Turismo 7 on the PS5 look on the Dell S3220 DGF or an Alienware AW2720HF? Let's find out. Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have a VA panel versus an IPS panel on the newly announced Gran Turismo 7 trailer running on the PS5 console. They both look beautiful. And as you can see, I have a full screen and a side angled view so you can see what a VA panel and an IPS panel bring to the console table. Now, if you know me, any day, every day, I prefer to play on my Dell S3220 DGF just because of the VA contrast. It's an amazing 3000 to 1 contrast ratio versus the Alienware's 1000 to 1 specified contrast. Everything looks so much more punchy on the Dell, plus you can easily see 32 inches versus 27 inches. The immersion kicks in and you just feel like you're in the game. But if you're the type of competitive gamer where you just want to play Fortnite first person shooters, or I would even say real time strategy games, the IPS panel of the Alienware would better suit your needs. Now I don't play that competitively. I prefer total picture package with the 32 inches, the VA contrast, and the slight curve that the Dell has compared to the flat Alienware, the curve is growing on me. But as you can see on the side angle, the Alienware's panel just retains so much color, so much information from an angle that the Dell, even though it's curved, cannot produce. No monitor that's curved or even more curvier than the Dell can produce the rich contrast and color that the Alienware IPS can easily handle. The PS5 looks to be an amazing next generation console to compete directly with the Xbox Series X. So it's going to be awesome to get those consoles and play them here on the channel. And I'm telling you, these monitors can easily handle the color pre-production, the clarity and the speed of any console coming out in the future. Now the Dell is a 1440p monitor. The Dell can handle a 4K signal even though it's a 1440p monitor. Of course, it'll display a 1440p image, but it won't be able to have 120 hertz. It'll be locked in at 60 hertz for the next generation on the Dell S3220 DGF. While the Alienware will be able to handle 1080p at 120 hertz, if Microsoft or Sony choose to allow that display resolution with those Hertz, the Alienware would be able to handle that combination. It's the only problem we have with the Dell here is that it doesn't have a 120 Hertz timing. That's why we have so much trouble. But put that aside, 60 Hertz looks beautiful for next generation. These monitors can handle it. And I just wanted to bring you that information here with this video. If you're thinking of getting either of these monitors, they would fit your needs perfectly plus their amazing PC monitors. That's their bread and butter. But it can handle retro, current, and next generation consoles. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. See you guys next time.